Let's talk about the financial transaction tax or in the lingo, just the FTT tax, which is a critical issue that could potentially be coming into play depending on who you vote for. And quite literally, this is a tax that could kill trading. And that sounds overly dramatic, but once I explain how it works, it doesn't take rocket science to, to put the pieces together and say, ooh, that's gonna be difficult, especially if you are a trader. I mean, just put this into your trading and ask yourself, well, what kind of effect would that have on it? Now, before I go any further, I'm not trying to make a political video in terms of who you should be voting for. I just wanted to make you aware of this issue so that you can do some more research on it and make your own decision. And on that note, because I know there's probably gonna be political discussion that breaks out in the comment section, I always do read and reply all comments, but in this video, all I will reply with is thanks for the thoughts. No matter what you say, you could say, hi, Clay. I'm gonna say, thanks for the thoughts. So that's just me not wanting to dive into some political battle because that's not what I'm trying to do. All I'm trying to do is make you aware of this because yeah, there, you need to be an educated voter, right? You need to be looking at policies, especially if a policy could have a direct effect on you, maybe your goals, maybe where you see your ambitions taking you. So the financial transaction tax, the way it works, and I'm not gonna go into exact numbers just because all the certain parties candidates, which are the Democratic candidates, they all have had different versions of this. So exactly what number would it be? You know, I'm not gonna assign that. I'm just gonna talk about more so how it works from a, from a, a general perspective, because you know, if you vote Democratic, so if you vote Biden, then I'm not saying this is guaranteed to happen, but it's definitely a situation where the, the risk is there. It could potentially happen. and. The way it works, like I said, from a broad sense is you're gonna have a trader and they go and a, a trader is gonna put a, a certain amount of money into the market, right? Because you have to buy a stock. So they're gonna go in there and they're gonna buy something which requires money. It requires money just to buy it. I'm not saying profit from it, but just to buy it. That's all that the money we're concerned about. So I wanna repeat that. This tax is not based on, well, you're only taxed if you make money. No. It's taxed on if you buy a stock, if you buy an option, if you buy any sort of derivative, bonds. If you put money in, that is the money that is in play. So one final time, this is not based on if you make money. No, those taxes already, ex already exist. So hey, look, another tax. Those taxes, yeah, if you make money, you're gonna get taxed. That, that's old news. Those taxes, they already exist. So any money you put in, is the dif differentiator here. You are going to get taxed on it. Now, again, what is the percentage of that tax? Again, uh, numbers all across the board. But every, all the numbers that I've seen, and I'll, I'll put one link down below to you know a, a, an article that you can read, uh, trying to be as unbiased as possible. But I mean, at the end of the day, the numbers are the numbers, but they are numbers where, again, you're getting taxed on the money you put in. So you put it in, there's gonna be a tax on it. But then here's the kicker. That same money, when you get out, guess what? That's also going to be taxed. So not to insult your intelligence, but it is a double taxation. Money you put in, the financial, because that's a transaction, right? Buying a stock, buying an option, buying a bond, that is a transaction to buy. But when you sell, well, that is a financial transaction to sell. So you're going to get hit with it again. And the way that it works is it starts to add in all kinds of fees. So as far as free brokers are concerned, that, that's not gonna exist. Sure, a cost to trade may not be a broker charge, but if you have some sort of FTT tax in there, it's gonna show up. And again, run the numbers. Numbers vary, but the numbers are enough we're especially, and this is again, it's supposed to be aimed at the, you know, the rich people. Oh, it's supposed to be aimed at Wall Street. You know what? If you're trying to grow a small account, have fun when now you have these fees hitting you. Again, not even if you make money, just by trading, you are getting hit with fees. So all this tax is doing is basically replacing the, the free broker model. They're bringing back in commissions and it becomes a question to you. And again, I'm not telling you which way to vote, but if you do have a smaller account, start go out there, research it, start to do the numbers. What happens if you if you're gonna be losing, you know, five, ten dollars to buy and then five to ten dollars to sell? 
Well, right there, you're, you're automatically five, 20, maybe even more, depending on what sort of stock you're doing, how much you put in, right? Even if it's a smaller amount, what do those numbers add up to? And they're going to make it just that much more difficult to grow account. I mean, is it impossible? You can never say impossible, but growing a smaller account is already challenging enough. You introduce in fees and okay, there is once again, some sort of tax that supposedly is only hurting the rich people, really actually just hurting the small people, right? The middle class, Main Street USA, you and I with, you know, we're not out there trading billions of dollars. I mean, I guess I don't know about you. I'm not a hedge fund with billions of dollars under management. I'm just a normal guy that likes to trade and trades as a side hustle for income. I'm sure we can relate in that regard. Now, yeah, I do have a bigger account than, than others, but even if you have ambitions, which is great, you're an ambitious person to, to you know, grow that account. I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but that's already more, it's already challenging enough. You throw in these fees, then it gets that much more difficult. So that is how it works is, again, the big thing is here, it's the money you put in and then the money you get out. It has nothing to do with, oh, well, I made a profit of $1,000, so I only pay the profit on that $1,000. No, you, it's a transaction. And whatever the transaction is, whatever those dollar amounts are, that is what you will be taxed on. So maybe you don't care about this. Maybe you think it's worth it. But again, I'd encourage you, run the numbers, find some of these numbers that are out there and start to crunch them and ask yourself, okay, how is this going to affect my personal trading strategy? How is this gonna affect the way I approach the market? Maybe it won't have any influence at all. Maybe it'll be very minimal. Maybe it'll be, and you can say, yeah, this really isn't a, uh, this really isn't a policy that I, I, I need to, to care about. Maybe you're saying, oh wow, that, that could be really damaging. And for some people, it definitely will be, especially again, the people with the smaller accounts. You know, the, the tax that it's supposed to be helping people out. It just doesn't work that way. And as a trader, I don't need to explain that to you. If you've ever made any trades, you know that with a smaller amount, or smaller account, excuse me, you're already dodging all sorts of challenges and bullets and everything like that. So to have more challenges, more pitfalls, more hurdles thrown in the way, I mean, just something for you to consider. So hopefully this helps out. And I, you know, I'm not trying to, like I said, get political, but it's definitely a big issue that for you and I, this is a trading channel, it's a financial channel, something, you know, it needs to be known. So just keep that in mind. But the way I look at it, I mean, this is truly a tax that would kill trading in many different ways because it's just gonna get ridiculously expensive. And if you do more research on it, you'll see that uh, it doesn't trade, it won't kill trading in the US markets, but when this has happened in other countries, what happens to the money? They go to different markets. They go to markets where this stuff doesn't exist. So like I said, I'm not gonna say that it's gonna kill day trading in every single sense or swing trading in every single sense, but as far as the US economy, as far as the US markets are concerned, yeah, things might get a little shaky. You could see money flowing out elsewhere, but um, just something for you to consider. So factor that in when you go out there to vote and just be a well-informed, knowledgeable voter. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.